On the inside, it's the GH5, the G9 has updated image processing and algorithms which allow it to eke out a slightly better noise profile and autofocus speed, enables a few more features and improved image stabilization which Panasonic claims delivers a whopping 6.5 stops. The improved processing also enables it to increase the speed of the electronic shutter, which in turn enables high-speed continuous shooting. 20 frames per second with autofocus and auto exposure or 60 fps without when using shutter. With the mechanical shutter it's the same as the GH5, the image processing is also optimized differently than the GH5, prioritizing accuracy for memory colors, skies, grass, skin tones, reproducing textures and maximizing tonal range. But it's still only 12-bit RAW, a limitation of the current generation of 4 thirds sensors. The G9 offers only one completely new feature over the GH5, an 80 megapixel high res mode which takes 8 shots at 0.5 pixel offsets, up, down, left, right and the 4 diagonals. This is similar to Olympus 50 megapixel high res shot mode. But if you're going to have a tripod requiring multi-shot mode, I'd rather see it incorporate an implementation like the Sony A7RIIIs, where it's used to improve tonal range rather than increase pixel count. In exchange for these new capabilities, however, the G9 loses some of the significant video features of the GH5, such as 10-bit color and QuickTime mod support.